I'm Kevin Tomlinson. And I'm Phil Borges. And we're documentary filmmakers. And we're making a film called Crazy Wise. I've spent the last 25 years documenting indigenous and tribal people around the world. And I started noticing that almost every one of these tribes had what we would call a shaman that acted as a healer or a seer. And when I got to talk to these people, I learned that most of them were identified by having what we would call a psychotic break, hearing voices, seeing things. And I just thought to myself, what a difference in the way that is defined in their culture and the way we look at this. So later in 2012, while I was interviewing people for a film on meditation, I met Adam. I had a very easy childhood. I was just the happy kid. Life was just beautiful. I moved to Florida to pursue professional wakeboarding. And in that period is when I experienced that first depression. It was four days after my 20th birthday, I went nuts. It was just this total shattering and my mind just opened and I started thinking of all these different things. It was the first time I had ever experienced a real connection to the universe where I really felt like a part of this, that I was this, this was me. It was just like incredible. Then I kept going and then I went way too far and then it got scary. It was terrifying. You know, it was awful actually because he was either angry or totally manic or totally depressed. And it, you know, it wasn't him, the Adam we knew at all. In the United States, we've come to believe in the chemical imbalance theory of mental disorders. So we believe that you have some known deficiency with the neurotransmitter and the drugs fix that, like insulin for diabetes. It was a valid hypothesis that arose out of understanding of how the drugs acted on the brain, and then it was investigated and found out basically not to be so. We think that there are people who are normal over here, and then there's the pathological ones who have depression or anxiety or addiction or schizophrenia or um, bipolar disorder. These traits, to one degree or another, are present in almost everybody. And it's a mythology to think that there's the normal and then there's the abnormal. We've been primed to believe that uh, with medical research we can find the causes of things and that we can create these magic bullets that fix these problems. So it fit into that larger story of medical progress that we believe in. We've been embracing this paradigm of care now for almost 30 years and we've seen the burden go up and up and up. And if you have an effective medical treatment for a disease, at the very least that burden of disease should hopefully stay stable or even go down. And we're seeing exactly the opposite. There was a point where I was taking 15 pills in a day. And just, like, I, was, I felt like a lab rat. He was on a roller coaster, you know, just one a uh, prescriptive cocktail after another from one doctor to another. Adam was medicated for four years. The medications were terrible for him. So he just went cold turkey on all his meds and did a Vipassana meditation retreat, which is severe. I mean, it's the boot camp of meditation. I went there a drug addict alcoholic that hated everyone and came back a sober, life-loving vegan. I was gone for 10 days and literally came back a completely different person. We're so locked into our mind and the rational world and the scientific world that when we have um, a spiritual experience, it can literally blow somebody's mind. Where does somebody who's in this delicate state, you know, they're in a process. You know, they're sent to prison, they're sent to jail, they're sent to a psychiatric ward, or they're chemically incarcerated, or they're homeless. Watching Adam over the period of time I have, which is two years. So I first meet him and I understand he was on meds, he got off the meds, he did Vipassana, that settled him out. That sounded like a great story, but that wasn't the end of the story. Just the amount of bad that has happened in my life in the past two years has been just crazy.
I experience screaming voices. I go into almost a paralysis from fear. People don't believe how insane I am. People will see me act quiet and that's it. But what is happening in that quiet is completely, it's just chaos. I feel like I'm working and fighting every single day and I'm viewed as a complete bum. What I would like to see is that everyone who goes through the kind of crisis that I went through is given an opportunity to explore what it might mean. Maybe it's not just a broken brain. Maybe it's not just an illness. Maybe this is not just something to hide and be ashamed of. Maybe it's something to explore and learn from. Medications are sometimes essential. But if you don't first start with communities of support, then of course the brain is gonna stop functioning so well because the brain is a social organ. Adam, had he had the same experience in an Eastern culture where there's mentors and shamans, where there's acceptance, where people make room for your differentness, where you're not excluded and ostracized, but where you're welcomed, he might have had his experience formulated in a completely different way. We have lost touch in our medical system from some of the simple needs that people have for connection, the simple needs that people have for community. And because the mental health system isn't providing it, people who've been in the system are starting to provide it for ourselves. There are hundreds and hundreds of groups around the United States, around Europe, around the world. This common ingredient is the expectation that people can get better. Have a problem if a problem was a problem to me. This less than perfect life is exactly what I need. I hope that this film ends up showing people that they are okay. This less than perfect life is exactly what I need. Crazy Wise is really a cultural comparison on how mental illness is defined and treated. Through the lens of Adam's story and struggle, we want to shed more light not only on the problems, but on solutions to our mental health crisis. It seems sometimes like our culture is dominated by the biomedical and pharmaceutical industries, but nothing will change without raising our voices. So let's work together in one voice what I'm hoping is that this film will start a conversation about alternative treatments and especially how we look at extreme mental emotional states. By bringing Crazy Wise to completion with your support, we hope to bring transformation to a mental health system in crisis.